Hey, what's up guys, how's it going on? Welcome back to another Sony Vase tutorial. Now, this tutorial was sort of... Uh, I got the idea from a suggestion from a sub. He's on the screen right now, go drop him a sub. He makes awesome fucking content. And yeah, that's pretty much it for that. So, the effect we're going to be using today is a Twitch effect. Now, there's a lot of controversy surrounding this effect that it's a hard effect to do, but it's gonna... I'll show you today, that's pretty fucking easy. So if you just drag in your clip real quick. Now, I've got these markers set up already. Um, I don't have any music, I've just put these sort of randomly. But you're going to want to sync it up to some music, so it looks it looks good. Okay, so, so, so let's just say I have a music track under here, and I've synced up to the music, and it's all good. And I've got these markers, and so I'm going to split them along these markers. We're going to put the twitch effect on these two things here so you see it twice. So first of all what we're going to want to do is fade out the start and fade out the finish just so it looks clean. You don't have to do that but uh, it, it just looks clean you know. So if we go into the pan and crop area we go to, so we're going to add like, uh, you can use Sapphire for this, a Sapphire plugin with the shakes effect, but we want to add a really vibrant shake and I can't be asked to fit it around with the fucking settings. So if we go two frames in, make sure we have both of these checked in this on the cross so it moves freely, and then just bring this in a little bit, about here is good, and then go two frames over, uh, nope, 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 I hit the wrong fucking thing and then click back on your uh, event line and go two frames over actually not two frames over on the first one move this like to the bottom right corner don't do it so it matches up perfectly or you're going to get a really boxy shake then if we go two frames over and we bring this over to the left and then bring it to the top left then top right and then if we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 frames over, seems to work good with a long fade out, just restore it to the original view. Now if we highlight all of this, hit Control c for copy, close that down, come in here, click on the first one and hit Control v for paste. Now if we go to the start and play this, we're going to have a shake effect. Now that looks pretty sick, pretty fucking violent, that's what, that's what we're looking for. Now, this is where it all gets a little bit weird. So, if we go into our event up here, our event, our project properties, we go down to stereoscopic 3D mode, and we just turn that to red cyan. Hit apply, hit OK. Now it's going to sort of grayscale effect your clips, so to sort of combat that, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the... Um, effects right here, that's the fucking one, and we are going to go to saturation adjust, hit add, hit ok, now we're just going to turn the lows all the way up, and that's going to make it so it's, well it's the same again now, now if we right click on here, we get a duplicate track, uh, and then we just delete the start, delete the finish, so we're just left with these two here, so we've just got this here, and now, <laughs> I said it gets tricky before. Now it gets a little bit fucking... Yeah, a little bit fucked. So, if we go into here, and we actually first, what we're going to do is to make this look extra fucking sick. We are just going to go in here, we're going to add a Gaussian blur. We're going to set that to zero, and we're going to animate it. We go to the start, make sure it's set to zero, and then go to the thing here, and just hit on. Oh no, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? We need it zero here. So, so we zero at the end, and on soften at the start. So now it's going to add a a blur when it comes in. We're going to do that for the end clip as well. So again, we just grab the blur, hit add, hit OK, set to zero, animate. So we're doing this one in reverse. So if we click at the start of it here, start the clip, set it to zero. And then if we click at the end of the clip, and we set that to soften. So now when it fades, 
it fades out and it blurs out as well. So if you see it, it gets progressively more blurred out as it goes along. So, back to the fucking back to the effects. We want stereoscopic 3D mode. Now you are not going to have this effect here. It, it's just going to be just going to say default for you. But I've made this sort of preset to make things easy for you guys. So if you just copy this entire preset, the only thing that's changed is the keystone and the zoom. Just put the keystone on 50 and the zoom on uh, ugh, voice break there, and the zoom on 350, and just add that to both uh, clips. Where is it? There you are, you little fucking cunt. And twitch. There we fucking go. See now we can play this through. And it just looks shit. So if we just select both of them. And then we fade the twitch out. Now the twitch sort of it fades in and out and looks a lot better. But we still need access to our uh, effects here. So we're gonna add another effect here. Uh where is it? 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 I can't fucking find it. Uh TV simulator, there we go. And we'll also, I've got this preset here as well. So if you just copy this preset down, now again only two things are changing here. Uh, the line sync and the, uh, the grill here. So if we add that onto this one as well, you'll sort of see the change when it comes in. Uh, simulator. Uh, Twitch. And then we fade these ones out again. Just trying to be cool and fade them out both at the same time, but it looks shit. We are also not going to fade them out yet because we are going to add a bit of a uh, blur on them. So if we go back into here and we just add a blur, just use the top blur there, it's fine. We set this to zero, that's all set, and just change this one to a two, so it's just on 20, and that's enough of a blur. And then do the same for this one, uh, Gussium Blur, there you are, you shithead. Set it to zero, go to 20, and there we are. Now there is one more thing that we are going to add and that is uh, RSMB which is a real smart motion blur. Uh, you could, I'm not going to bother putting a link in the description where you can download this plugin, just fucking search it, you can download it really easily. I did it, it's not hard. And I'm just going to drag the default one onto all four of these clips here. Because uh, I'm, I'm, most of the effects are on these two here, but I'm adding them on the bottom clips as well because they're moving clips and it's a motion blur. So, yeah. So if we just highlight this, and I'll show you what it looks like so far. Because, in my opinion, it does look pretty fucking sexy. As you can see, it looks pretty fucking sick. So, my Sony Vegas has stopped responding. Lovely. Dun, 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 dun. I'll be back in a second. And I'm back and we are responding again. So I'll just show you that one more time. It looks pretty fucking sexy. Now, I do have more shit up here, which is a clip I made earlier with some music. A clip. The Twitch effect and black bars. So let's have a look at what that looks like. So as you can see it looks pretty fucking sexy and now what we are going to do here is we are going to end the fucking video because that's the end of the effect. It looks pretty fucking sexy. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.